You guys ever sneeze so hard your head starts hurting? Yeah, that, that was the first for me just now. Welcome folks, hello fellow members of society that watch volleyball at the Olympics because they've seen Haikyuu and are suddenly interested in the sport. I am one of you. Today, we're not going to be watching Haikyuu, we're going to be watching a Deccan fight for Aquaforce, which has nothing to do with Haikyuu or volleyball or the Olympics. But of course, Aquaforce, man, when, when Set 20 came out, I was very much just like, yeah, every clan is good, dude, every deck is good, it's amazing, what a phenomenal set, I can't believe they actually made a set with like everything being meta, isn't that insane? But then after playtesting with it, I kind of started to realize that maybe this isn't that great. Maybe Aqua Force isn't actually that fantastic. Or at least it feels very clunky and therefore a little bit annoyed, just a tiny bit, with the state of things. But, you know, that's just me. So anyway, let's take a look at the deck as usual and then take a look at some games. They might not go too well because honestly, I don't think I have many wins with this deck from all my playtesting so far. Because every effect says you have to be in Legion and you don't go into Legion until like turn four or like three earliest and yeah pain all right so let's take a look at it and break things down so our main new boss unit that we got from this set is tetra burst and so this is the blue storm archetype i believe if i'm not, if I'm not mistaken so what he does is he uh legion with the starless and he says when he attacks the vanguard if you're in legion state if it's the fourth battle of that turn count on us one draw one he gains 5k and a crit so very much like an Aqua Force style effect, very much like a Maelstrom style effect, I guess. You know, draw, gain crit, gain power, doesn't have the retire, but that's fine. And then when he attacks the Vanguard, you have another unit in the middle column, he gains another 3k. So it's great. Little powerhouse, helps us push, you know, the opponent to 5, it's great. He's wearing a little suit, you can see, little suit, very nice, nice and dapper. But, you know, that's great. And then once we have them at 5, we go into the Mihail, who legions with the Milos, who says at the end of his battle, if you're in Legion State, you have to discard a card with the same name as one of your vanguards. And if you do, you can move around any circles on your field that are not the vanguard circle to different circles. So basically, like, you move circles, so you can move locked circles too. And then if it's the fourth battle of that turn, you can choose two of your rearguards and stand them and give your front row rearguards plus 5k for the whole turn. Pretty cool finisher, right? Pretty cool finisher lets you get, like, you know, five attacks, something like that, when your opponent's at five or even at four, you know, if you get a bit lucky or that extra power up helps you. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But you have to have four attacks. And then he also gains 5k power if you attack with him on the fourth battle, which is also nice, which is also nice, right? So you would think, wow, obviously that's going to be great. We're on one Diamantes to finish things off. You know, in case we don't manage to finish it off with the other cards, we can still go into Glory. Glory is still great. You know, Glory Effect is always a nice finisher. But then, you know, that's all fine and dandy. But literally, our only Grade 2 in the whole deck that doesn't need us to be... No, sorry. We have two Grade 2s that don't need us to be in Legion. One of them is Tidal Assault. At the end of the battle, he attacked the Vanguard. He can re-stand and lose 5k power. Then the other card that doesn't need to be us, need us to be in Legion is the Ianis, who says when his attack hits a Vanguard, if it's a third battle of that turn, draw one, which is like pretty good. It's nice, it's nice, right? But then we have this guy, the Starless, who says when he attacks the Vanguard, if you're in Legion State, if it's the first battle of that turn, he gains 3k. At the end of the battle, swaps with the thing behind him. So basically a Basil. And then of course, if you're in Legion State, you can once per turn count us one to basically for the first battle of that turn when he attacks, in ignore intercept, right? Basically a Basil, but with Legion State. And then we have this guy, who is the Resist dude. So he has Resist, which is great, really good for the Link Joker and Kagura matchups. And once per turn, when he attacks the Vanguard at the end of the battle, if you're in Legion State, stand him and he loses 5k power. So he's a title Assault, but in Legion State. So you might be seeing where the problem is, right? Then we have this guy, who says, at the end of the battle he boosted, if you're in Legion State, you can choose two rearguards and move them around, you know, change their positions. This is also like, you have to, it's not up to two, you have to choose two, so it's a little bit, bit annoying. And of course, to fill up the drop zone, we play the Penguin, so let's draw a card, you know, so we can Legion stuff back, and then we run the 10k attacker, because, like, literally, at least we have some cards that do stuff without being in Legion. And the starter is, like, decent. If you're in Legion State, put him into the soul, and then for that turn, your Vanguard gets the ability. When you text the Vanguard, if it's the fourth battle, count us one, draw one, retire one, and he has resist. Like, I play him for the resist, but you can run the Grade 3 Searcher, honestly. Like, I just like the resist, because there's a lot of Kagura running around, so at least, like, they don't pop it for you. And so you can put him into the soul, and then he'll, like, you know, give you that retire and the draw. So it's, like, it's a nice little bit of plus, I guess. The only problem is that I guess he needs to, like, wait for that, like, fourth battle. But, I mean, that's pretty easy in this deck. So, I think the deck is decent. It's pretty popular on ladder. I I see it on ladder fairly often, but I personally, I don't know, it just hasn't really been working out for me. So let's play a couple of games with it. I am not promising too much. Like, honestly, 
I don't know what it is with me in Aqua Force and Zero. It just doesn't work out. Maybe maybe when Tawas comes out, it'll work out better because that's when I started to be like really into Aqua Force. Um, even though I never built that deck, but I would really enjoyed like watching combos of it. It's one of those decks I respect it, you know, just like I also liked, you know, Time Leap and I liked, uh, you know, um, Night Rose and stuff, but I just couldn't afford to build them at the time because I was playing other things. So, yeah. Let's just take a look at how things are, though, before we go to G in, like, a couple months. So, playing against Shadow Paladin, of course, a very popular matchup. Definitely expect to see it a lot. Also, this month, like, man, I didn't plan to build, um, or I didn't think I would finish Aqua Force. Uh, sorry, not Aqua Force. I didn't think I would finish Duos, and I didn't think I would finish Genesis Witches, but I ended up doing so. So, those deck and fights will be coming out, like, over the next week or so, um, but they might take a little bit of time. So, early game as usual for Aqua Force don't do much but you kind of have to do something because you need to you know you need to legion you need to have cards in the drop zone and you can't like over rely on just like checking triggers non-stop so that's something to keep in mind um definitely like you know play around with that in mind as you go through it as you go through the motions all right goes into dorin that's fine that's cool cool for me cool for me all right let's see just checking my email but nothing too explosive so far there's a resist guy i might actually keep i don't know they both need me to be in Legion state, so I might keep the Resist guy in hand for now, I guess. And then, like, we need to keep so much in hand because everything's like a piece to make the multi attack. So you're just kind of praying for early triggers, to be honest, to Legion sometimes. Like, unfortunately, like, there are ways to fill up your drop zone, but it just, they just don't feel good because that means you have to, like, commit boosters and then you also have to commit attackers and they're all pieces and it's just the usual kind of, like, Aqua Force. I'm really, I don't know if I'm downplaying it or if I'm just, like, salty from things not working out. <laughs> I think that might be the case more so, that I'm just not very happy with how little things have worked out for me playing this deck. But we'll do our best, we'll do our best, it's all about that positive mindset, you know, happy-go-lucky, happy time. Alright, draw is good, because we get more cards, obviously, it's a nice thing. Uh, so we'll ride into this. Unfortunately, Leon doesn't have any lines for him, even though he does ride him in the anime, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we can call out one rear, just because we need to like equalize the damage a little bit, and hopefully we check a healer of our own would be quite fine and dandy. All right, we swing. Grade one again, he's at the very bottom. And the heal, that's pretty good. That's what we wanted. So we have now two cards in the drop zone using Top Deck of Penguin, and we will have enough for Legion next turn. So here's hoping, here's hoping, right? All right, does he go for Mordred? Or does he go for RPBA instantly? What's well, fine, he runs Bad Bar Car as a draw. I'm assuming this is one of. Not a bad card, not a bad card. To like have as a one of. All right, goes for Mordred. I'm gonna skip that animation there. So yeah, there's like no animations for this deck or any lines for that matter. So I could have been playing with the Megumi skin for that matter, but I kind of like I don't know. For Leon, it just fits. Like I want to be playing as as Leon when I play these like obviously Leon decks. Just like when Tabas comes out, I'll obviously you want to be playing as like Jaime because it's like his cards. So yeah. All right, call down a bunch of great threes. You basically invite your opponent to attack into them. <laughs> that's about it. And then if they don't, well, then too bad. All right, great two. That's nothing. He, he's going to get his judge bow out here. Oh, and he heals as well. Ah. All right. Well, now I need a trigger for that last attack to not hit. Oh, my God. We're going to four. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Oh. And, well, my internet is there, and I would not be able to search with Google if my internet was dead. So, this is awkward. This is awkward. Alright, I think we're coming back. Okay, we came back, and I have an extra PG in my hand. That's cool, I think. I guess. But I don't really have the resources to, like, do anything here. I can push my opponent to three. Did he double heal on me or something? What? Why am I? Oh man, Why? I don't like being at four. This hurts. All right, I think we gotta like start doing stuff though. Um, so I might just like overcall this a little bit, and then try to whack face with the legion, and retire a Doran in the back. I don't know. Like this is kind of what hurts about this deck is that you kind of have to make bad moves sometimes, and unfortunately, just the deck kind of just tells you like, yeah, hold that. We have two PGs, which is nice, but I guess we're gonna just force the Legion here and see what happens. So we at least put back some triggers. Two heals, which is good. Two heals going back is definitely nice. Um, so let's see here. We go into this. We had to override and stuff. At least we're in Legion state now. Let's draw an extra card from this to like compensate for losing so many cards. 
And then basically just swing. So we're going to swing with this. It's going to restand. And we're going to swing with it again. We're going to restand. And then, you know, just do the usual stuff. Get to four attacks, basically. I push my opponent to four with this. And I don't think I want to give him break right yet. So I'm going to swing into rear with this one. And then take out the door in from the uh, starter effect. So yeah, there we go. We go to four. So we'll push him to three. I think that's a pretty sweet spot to be. We get the on-hit draw guy. All right. So many FPS drops. I feel like my blue stacks need, needs updating. <laughs> I feel like my blue stacks needs updating. All right, then count us one. We draw one, and we can pop the door in here so he doesn't have any retires. Or at least they're a bit harder to achieve for him for the, moment, the time being. All right, we didn't heal, but we have a, like, resist intercept, which is good. So Blaster Dark Revenger can't take it out. He checks two triggers in damage without even lesioning yet. So I think most of his triggers are actually out. Overdraws into a Nemain. What does he have left? Oh, he has, like, two triggers left. Okay. Oh, he's not break riding, so he's actually choosing to go for the restand and like Legion without the break ride effect. So, break ride effect dodged successfully? Question mark? Question mark? Exclamation mark? If he pushes me to five, if he doesn't call like two intercepts, I could theoretically go to glory here and try to finish it. Um, that could work. That could work. It's not all. It's not all lost yet. You know, it's not. Not all hope is lost. Oh, he can just put back two heals to draw. That's kind of nasty. After all the hard work I've done. No, he can put back three heals now. But why would you... Um, well, I guess it's still good to put back three heals. But I, they won't proc if he checks them on, on offense right now. It's funny that all four of them are out, actually. Literally all four of his heals are out. And zero of mine. Well, one of mine is in hand. Alright. So he puts back two heals, two draws. I guess he's preparing for next turn as well. Because that's his like last two RPBA. So he wants to like, draw into more. So he can Legion again next turn. Alright, he's going to call a Revenger Grade 1 from deck, so he'll be able to do the skill. Uh, it's going to be overcalled on one of the Swordbreakers. There we go, he might use that skill as well here to overcall the other Swordbreaker. And then we'll be good. He'll be good to go for his skill, probably keeping the Grade 2 column alive. Okay, he's running out of time too, surprisingly. Alright. Did he fumble the bag? No, no, he's going to just retire the Mordred. I mean, that's fine. So yeah, I'm going to get both PGs taken out of my hand, unless I heal here, which is quite unlikely. Yup, there's the penguin I needed. Pain. Pain chocolate. Pain chocolate. French speakers will know what I'm referring to when I say pain chocolate. Alright, I guess it's pain o chocolate. <laughs> I'm butchering the pronunciation on purpose too. Alright, my man restands. Gonna take the second PG out of my hands. Out of my sweet, loving hands. But that's okay. He pushes me to five, so I can just like give him one damage. And basically try to end the game, which is nice. So let's go for glory and try to end it. I think that's my best shot. Um, everything else feels a bit lackluster, because I don't have a way to make four attacks anymore. So we kind of have to go for glory here. We can call an interceptor, which is nice. Yeah, I guess we just bash. We guess we just bash here. We have Limit Break 5. Maybe I should have called a booster behind Vanguard instead to make sure I can get over defensive, because he's bound to check one here. But let's see. Does he check one? Yep, he does. Alright, I made a mistake probably, because I don't have boosters anymore and this is only 16. Here we go. Alright, one to pass. Glory effect. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Here we go. Thank God, and it's a heal trigger too. Alright, never punished. Good, 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 good. Alright, do you have PG in grade 3? Nope! Oh my god. Don't let me win, dude. Don't let me win. Don't don't let me win. Don't let me win. Don't let me win like this, man. Don't let me win like this. Actually, you should have let me win like this. God damn it, dude! <sighs> Fantastic. Amazing. <laughs> oh, I played to my outs. And I still died. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, it's not meant to be. <laughs> Especially when you play Aqua Force. So anyway, how are you guys liking the Olympics? Which sports are you watching? Have you guys enjoyed skateboarding? Do you guys like volleyball? Actually, with my Twitch subs and YouTube channel members, we've been watching volleyball on my Discord. It's very fun. Very fun. It's really enjoyable. So I recommend you to check it out as well. Volleyball is fantastic. So yeah. Basketball, I haven't really been watching. I normally watch basketball, but this year I didn't really watch it. Um, ping pong looked hype. There was like that one really famous ping pong match. That was, that was hype. I think that's my last heal. Pretty sure that's my last heal. Yep. We are certified dead. <laughs> certified dead. If I checked the draw into PG, that would have been a different story. But sadly, not the case. And goodbye. 
All right, here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. It's not going to be a heal. It's going to be a draw or a PG. Nope, it's going to be a great two. All right. Well, we almost had it. Six damage heal bodied us, but it's okay. As I said, going into this, I didn't expect any wins. Uh, so I'll take that almost win, I guess, because it's, um, I don't know. The deck's not bad, but compared to everything else, it feels worse. You get what I mean? Like, if it wasn't for the existence of the entirety of the tier one, like, eight damage, look at that. If it wasn't for the existence of the entirety of the tier one, this would be okay. Like, this would be good. But right now, it's it's decent. It's just, like, fine, I guess. I don't know. Maybe the Aqua Force mains can, can play it better than me. For sure. Actually, no. That's not even a question. They can definitely play it better than me. But with me, it's just kind of scuffed somehow. It's kind of scuffed some somehow. But yeah. What else have you guys been watching at the Olympics? I've been checking out. Yeah, mostly volleyball. I watched... Uh, what else? Badminton is pretty high. Badminton is, looks really exhausting when played competitively. Like, I played it a little bit before um, at, like, a gym. It was pretty fun. I think I kind of want to get into volleyball. I only played volleyball in, in like high school. I was like part of a part of a like, you know, just regular like gym classes, sports classes. Nothing. I didn't like go for club. The only sports club I ever joined was basketball because like I'm originally Lithuanian and all Lithuanians are like tall and supposed to play basketball. So I just followed my genetic genetic, um, you know, values and went for basketball. But in hindsight, I wish I played volleyball, because that's also like a tall people sport, you know? So maybe I'll just like, I'm kind of debating going to like a, the local volleyball club and just being like, hey, I haven't played this game since I was like literally 15, um, but I kind of want to learn it. May I? <laughs> Can I like just try it out? I wonder if that's a thing, because I've seen people go like, hey, I watched Haikyuu and I want to play volleyball, you know? And then like, they just kind of like, you know, they just get involved, even at the age of like 25. Because that's the thing I was kind of like, oh, I'm 25, like, I'm not in high school anymore, you know, it's hard to get involved in sports. But, you know, maybe it's not too bad. Maybe it's not too bad, right? Who knows? Who knows? It's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Worth to mess around. But yeah. Do you guys have any stories like that? Where you have, like, you got into a sport really late? Or, like, you got into a sport because of an anime? I know a lot of people, like, for me, when Haikyuu came out, I was very tempted to get into volleyball, I remember. Like, I was really, really tempted. I was quite close to doing it, actually. Um, but then I didn't, purely because I was just like, oh, um, you know, it's kind of weird. Or, like, it's not weird, but I was like, oh, it's kind of funny, you know, if I get into an anime because of volleyball. Um, so, yeah, at that time, I just kind of, like, I didn't. But, or if I get into, did I say get into an anime because of volleyball? I meant get into volleyball because of an anime. Um, also, wow, my, my checks have been really good. <laughs> so, you know, now that I've like I've seen it at Olympics and how hype volleyball is at the Olympics, I'm kind of like, this is hype. This is cool. Like it's such a fast sport. It's so fast. It's so like intense. It's so hype. That that's kind of why I'm like, maybe I should give it a try. Maybe I should give it a try. You know? So just kind of debating it. Just kind of debating it. We'll see. Maybe we'll go for it. But yeah. So it'd be fun. It'd be fun. Although at the same time, if I'm moving to Japan next April, I wouldn't want to like get too attached, right? You wouldn't want to really get too attached to a club because then it's going to be like extra heartbreaking. That's like the thing with, my, thing with my locals too. It's like, I love my locals, but I will like, you know, moving back to Japan next spring is kind of just like, yeah, I'm not going to see you guys for a while, potentially, you know, or like as much as I want to visit as often as possible. It's also just like, yeah, you know, so that's another thing that's like, you know, you have to consider. But yeah. Anyway, enough monologuing. This game has been going sh different ways. Um, so he's taking grade 3s back to hand, so Glory won't be as effective this game. That being said, I'm a god at checking triggers, apparently. So we've been doing pretty good. We've been doing pretty good here. Um, so let's see. Let's... Do I want Legion first? Yeah, let's just Legion first, actually. No harm done. No harm done. Shikumai Meito. That's the most unique thing you'll hear today. No lines for any rides, but Shikumai Meito is the one thing that you'll hear plenty. A plenty. All right. I think I want to use the starter. I'm just thinking about the ordering here, right? Because this will want to attack. Then I kind of want to make a column with this. I could just make an empty column. Um, and then move it, move the interceptor back up. Um, I want to have ways to still make more attacks later. Let me draw for. Let me use the starter first. Put this in. Um, and then maybe call this down. Hmm. I might need the boost. I think I'll need the boost. Potentially. Potentially. Just because I think I might need it, I will actually put it down. So, Solas 2, let's draw. Glory, huh? 
I guess we can put down a glory here. That doesn't actually hurt too much. Cool. Now we don't need to count boss fight. It's only if we want to break uh, intercepts. So yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Whee! All right. So get that going. Get that grooving. All right. So that does this. And then that does this. And then we have to move too, right? Uh, so I'm thinking how I want to move them. We can stand him first. We can stand him first. It doesn't really need to be stood. But I guess we can stand him. Do I need intercepts? I don't think I do. I don't really think I do. Um, so I don't really want to move anything, to be honest. <sighs> to be honest, I could just do this and go for glory next turn. Yeah, we'll just do that. Let's have double intercept up. Why not? You know, why not? Why not have double intercept? Alright, we draw into another... Oh, perfect. Okay, well, that works out. I don't know why there's always frame drops in the little, like, whirlpool effect. It's kind of sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Alright, draw into another grade one. Let's kill the booster. So he, like, has more trouble hitting, I guess. Okay, so he needs a PG here to survive. But a bing, but boom. Okay, he had it. <clears throat> cool. So we push our opponent to four. Which means next turn we can theoretically go for either Glory or go for the, um, this guy. What's his name again? Mihail? Yeah. We either go for Mika or the other guy. Ooh, Murakumo Legion. First time I get to see this. So he, like, what, calls the Legion and the mate, and then one of them gets boost, the other one, like, goes back to hand or something. Cool. I mean, nice. I haven't seen this literally my first time seeing it on ladder. And the event ended a while ago. Well, not a while ago, a few days ago, I guess. Like a, yeah, a few days ago, a few days ago. It's not been that long. So he's gonna count us one. And search these two. And yeah, the great. What? Hold up. Uh, Solo Blast. Okay, okay, so he just searches another one. And they go back to deck. But this one doesn't boost, right? Oh, it attacks from back row. Oh! Oh, that's kind of... Okay, never mind. That's not bad. Can they both attack from back row? I think, I think the other one gets boost. Yeah, pretty sure this one has boost. It doesn't attack from back row. That's cool, though. That's cool. Ooh. Mm. Hmm. 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 I think we just stay on this. I think we stay on Tetra. Okay, those go back. That goes back. He has one intercept left. Yikes. I'm wearing my Yikes, bro. Um, in that case, I don't. I mean, there's no need to go for the glory, and also he'll take too much damage. So let's just do this. Um, hmm. I might not need this, but I kind of want to. I don't have a Persona Blast for it, so I'm gonna just go for glory if I do need to finish the game. So let's just do this. Let's just do this, and hope he doesn't check a defensive here. Let's see. Maybe he will. I mean, even if he does, it's actually fine. Because I, you know, it, it's not bad. But going for the Mihail is bad because, like, he would be on 21 at least here, if not 26, from hitting a defensive. Alright, yeah, 21. So re-standing stuff, like, it may, still makes it very hard to, like, break past the shield. Um, I have 3 PG, so I think I can get, a, uh, get away with not having intercept. And actually, I'll, I'll do a swap. I'll do a swap. It's fine. Not the best swap. I should have probably swapped a different way, but it's okay. My intercept is going to get blown up anyway. <laughs> it's going to get absolutely demolished anyway. Alright, we get the crit. Get the draw. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, we get a Persona Blast, so maybe... Oh, wait. I discarded... I called the thing. So we don't have Persona Blast anymore. Damn. Alright, well, another PG comes down. Hey, that's a pretty good fight. Not going to lie, this is not a bad fight. The one nice thing with this guy is that like he doesn't need Counter Blast. But this also just needs one, so it's also, like, kind of easy. It just depends if you need the... Oh, that's an act? Oh, it doesn't need you to... It's not on Legion. Oh, you can just call it out every turn for a Counter Blast? Oh, well, maybe this card isn't that bad, huh? Maybe it's not all that bad. Now that I... Now that I see this. Now that I get to witness it with my own eyes. It's a bit of a different story. That's a bit of a different story. Okay, so he has, like, what... Three attacks, right? So two PGs will be enough. Unless he checks a stand, in which case three PGs will be enough. So, let's watch and pray. Okay, one PG. I think he plays stands. Not sure. Draw? That's not a stand. No intercepts, though, which is kind of yikes. Ah, but the heal is kind of big. Heal is pretty huge. I guess we see if we check it... If we can draw into a... Persona Blast. For my dude, but I only have, like, literally... Oh, I have one card in deck that can potentially serve as a Persona Blast. 
we don't find it, but I think I'll read Legion here. Like, this dude, we just... I don't have a Persona Blast for it, so it's like, I can't use the skill. Um, so I think this might be better. Let's re-ride Penguin Legion, right? Let's do the Penguin to Soul Blast out a trigger, essentially, and the Legion Mate to draw a card. Uh, that's actually a good card to draw. That's actually pretty good. We can call that down here. And then we'll do a Column Swap on the second battle. Does he have an Intercept? He does not, right? So we'll do a Column Swap on the second battle, and we'll be good. All right, let's Legion. Hey, right, let's see, this fight is going pretty well. I would say this fight is going pretty well. It actually feels pretty good. All right, let's go. Let's go. Run it down. Run it down. 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 All right. Down to 16 cards in deck. 15 now with the Legion Mate. All right. Cool. We don't need to count us for anything. We can just go, go, go. Glory. Swing. Do your thing, big girl. All right. Cool. Now show me a perfect guard with this. Ka-ching. No PG. All right. Well, if he heals, we still win. If he heals, we still win. All right. Nope. No heal. That's a PG. And a GG from me, buddy. Thanks for the games. All right, that was actually a pretty good game. Apparently talking about sports for the first half of it brought some good luck my way, and therefore we were able to exude strong pressure. So yeah, like Mihail is fine, but you need to have like Persona Blast for it. It's still a good card, still a good card, but I think, you know, staying on this proved to be fine as long as you have like one Cannon Blast to work with. So yeah, there you go. That's Legion Aqua Force. I think in a nutshell, make like, Legion make multi-attacks and win. That's kind of how it goes. We almost won both games, to be honest, which is kind of surprising. I, I didn't expect to almost win that first one. Goes to show the power of, like, having that extra little bit of crit, um, how strong that is and how important it is. So, yeah, have fun with the deck. Enjoy it. Sorry that I kind of, like, <laughs> talked poorly about it in the start. It's somehow when I turn on the camera, I decided to behave and actually cooperate, which is very nice of it. So, yeah, here's the list. Also, I run old PGs because we don't really care about Limit Break or, like, we only need one damage for Tetra Burst or, like, two if we need to, like, you know, break and intercept. Um, um, so therefore I don't really need, feel the need for like that much counter blast being given I guess so that's why I run old PGs. So yeah, that's the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it There will still be two more deck and fights for this set. No, it's three with spikes with spikes There will be three. It's not really in this set, but it's like from the client event of this month So you can look forward to that. It's gonna be a good time and again as I said in the tier list um, I'm getting my second vaccine jab on uh, Saturday and on Sunday is the release of the next set and I will try to still do a stream opening packs but I'll see how I'm feeling. If it's bad, we'll just do it the next day. Um, so we're going to see. I'm going to see how I feel after the vaccine. And so we might be doing it a day later. We, you know, it's not the biggest deal. It's a bit unfortunate, but it's not too big of a deal. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.